The Oceanic Shoals Commonwealth Marine Reserve in the Timor Sea is an area of the North Network of Reserves about which little was known, until recently. Covering an area of approximately 72,000 square kilometres, the reserve incorporates some of the most extensive areas of carbonate banks and terraces in offshore Australia. These seabed features were thought to provide habitat for a diverse range of marine life, including sponge and coral gardens, with the region identified as a potential biodiversity hotspot for the tropical north. But the detail was unknown. In order to improve our knowledge of the marine reserve, the Marine Biodiversity Hub undertook a marine biodiversity survey in 2012. Geoscience Australia, with the Australian Institute of Marine Science and the University of Western Australia, conducted the survey, mapping the features of the seafloor and capturing imagery of the marine ecosystem it supports. The survey sampled four areas within the western side of the marine reserve, covering 510 square kilometres in total. New 3D maps of the seafloor reveal a highly diverse underwater landscape characterised by a series of undersea islands, known as pinnacles, surrounded by a mostly flat to gently undulating muddy seabed. The pinnacles are up to 80 metres high and comprise carbonate rock, which provides a firm seabed upon which sponges and corals grow. The greatest density of sponges and corals was found where the pinnacles rise to within 40 metres of the sea surface and light can penetrate to the seabed. These sponge and coral gardens also provide habitat for a variety of other sea life, ranging from snapper and trevally to sharks, rays and sea snakes. In contrast, the surrounding seabed plain is dark and highly turbid, with the only life comprising isolated and stunted soft corals and sponges and a range of organisms that live in the sediment, such as crustaceans and worms. These sediment-dwelling animals are an important component of the biodiversity in the region, with the survey discovering several species that are new to science, such as this small squat lobster. The new information collected by this survey is being used by scientists in the Marine Biodiversity Hub to develop a better understanding of the marine ecosystems of Australia's tropical north and by the Commonwealth Environment Department to inform management of the marine reserves in this key region of offshore Australia.